Hello everyone. Welcome to Software at Work e-invoicing video. In today's video, we will see how we can generate the e-invoice from the tally in which we have maintained the multi-GSTN data in a single tally. Those organizations who are using the multi-GSTN or multi-state in a single tally data, this video will be very much useful for them. As we all know, the 500 crore turnover companies has already been started with e-invoicing and the 100 crore companies are getting mandatory to generate e-invoice from 1st January 2021. So if you are 100 or 500 crore turnover company and you are using the multi-GSTN or multi-state solution in a single tally data, then let's learn how we can generate the invoicing from that solution. Before starting the actual demo, let us understand few features of multi-GSTN solution. With this multi-GSTN solution, we'll be getting all GSTN state-wise all entries in a single tally data. So at the time of generation of invoice, we will be getting the separate generation of invoicing state-wise in a single tally. So it will be very much useful to have the control of different state in a single tally. If we are using the multi-GSTN solution, it will be configured very easily and can be reported in very easy form. We will also be having the authorization security. So if we are working from the different state, so other state won't be having the access of the another state and as well as we see the reporting of getting total pan wise report as well as GSTR 1 and GSTR 2 reports where we will be getting the information related to sales and purchase. Now let us understand how we can generate the e-invoicing if we are using the multi GSTN customized solution. So this is my tally data where I have added my multi GSTN customized solution. Now let's understand how we can book the multiple state entries in a single tally data as well as how we can generate the invoicing for multi-state in a single tally. So now under accounts info voucher type we have already created the multi-states. So as you can see Punjab and Himachal Pradesh states voucher types are there. Once we enter on voucher type you can see I have configured the GST and the e-invoicing in voucher type itself and I have mapped the GST ledger to the voucher type so that whenever I select a proper ledger of GST it will get auto calculated. So in voucher type itself I will configure my API and the multi address. So as you can see on the screen. Now with the help of this solution I can generate e-invoicing for each state as you can see on the screen even though sales for Punjab I can generate the voucher type I can map all the things and now I can generate the invoicing for Punjab also and this way I can map all the invoice configuration state wise differently in a single tally data now let's understand how we can pass the sales entry and how we can generate the invoice for different state as you can see on the screen I have already passed one entry under HP sales if you want to set want to change the ledger or want to change the voucher type you can change the voucher type if you are doing sales from the Punjab you can select the Punjab sales now I am selling the goods from the Himachal Pradesh so I will select the HP sales voucher type under that I have one party which I have configured this is the Maharashtra party as you can see so I am selling to the Maharashtra here I can give the dispatch address for the location so if you have the dispatch address different so you can select your dispatch address from here under that we will be having the consignee and the buyer details just enter and you can come on the sales stock item under the stock item you should have the proper GSTN number and the tax amount so once we complete with the entry you should charge your IGST and you can proceed so now the entry is ready. Now we can generate the e invoicing. For generation of e invoicing, you can click on saw e invoice. Under that, we will be having an option of generate e invoice. Under that, go to the sales and generate e invoice. So we have generated the e invoicing for saw 003 HP self. As you can see, this entry just escape from the entry, just give a space bar, and here at the right hand side, we will be having the button of generate e invoice click on generate invoice it will give response and IRN will get successfully generated 
the e invoicing for this entry has done and you can now check your IRN number and other details in e invoicing response detail so as you can see the IRN number acknowledgement number and sign and QR code in encrypted form even though if you print the invoice you will be getting all the information so once I print the invoice as you can see the IRN number and QR code on your invoice itself so this is how we can generate the e invoicing for multiple state in a single tally data with the help of multi GSTN solution here if you want to generate the e invoice for other state like just now I have generated for Himachal Pradesh if you want to generate the e invoice for Punjab this control also you will be having and if you want security for that we will also provide the security session for that with that we will also be having one report where you will be getting the entire report of voucher type party name and the iron generated at what time it has been generated and if cancelled what is the reason behind the cancellation and here we can filter the details also so this is how we can generate the e invoicing for multi-state in tally.erp9 as well as in a tally prime if you have any query or if you want to see the detailed demo you can contact us on given below number and you can mail us thank you so much